What is going on folks? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be fishing the creek. Y'all seem to like the last video where I taught y'all how to flip and pitch. So today I'm going to teach y'all how to use Cinco's. Explain the bait, show y'all how to use it. It did rain a lot last night so I'm not too sure how the fishing is going to be, how the water clarity is going to be, but we'll see if we can catch some. I have a few hours to fish, see if I can make something happen. Hopefully we can. It's beginning to feel like spring thankfully, so hopefully the bite should be on. They should be spawning. Not too sure, we'll find out here in a bit. That being said, let's talk in more fishing. Let's get to it. All right, folks, so it's finally looking like spring. Everything is like super green. Crazy how it just all of a sudden got really green. It's finally feeling like spring. So on today's episode of how to, I think that's what I'm gonna name it, how to, like how to do stuff. This is the second part on how to do things. I'm gonna teach you how to fish with the Cinco. Now Cinco's are like pretty simple. I mean, there's nothing really to it. It basically looks like a wobbly stick. So it's all about action. And I'm going to be teaching y'all my method of how I fish this bait, how I catch fish on the bait, how I rig it up. But yeah, it's a pretty simple bait but it can be very effective at times. Lately, it has been really effective. Something subtle like this can entice a big fish. So I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to use this bait and how I rig it up. So how I like to rig up this bait is just normal Texas rig. I apologize if it's windy, it's like really windy today. Last night we had like a tornado watch even, it was like super windy and it's still windy today. But anyways, I just like to do a Texas rig, normal Texas rig on a Cinco. That's how I rig it. You can also rig it like a wacky rig, something along those lines, but I like to use a Texas rig. So there we go, that's my setup. It's not perfectly straight. It is best to have it like as straight as you can, but it's whatever with me. I just rig it up and fish, but that's my setup. I also have a peg and a 3 16 ounce bullet weight for those of you who wanna know. So I accidentally deleted the footage of me explaining how I fish this bait. But anyways, how I like to fish this bait is, this bait has like no action whatsoever. You know, you have to come up with the action all yourself. Basically what I like to do, especially on slow days, I like to use this method but I like to cast out there just like that and just let it sit. Let it sit for maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds because if there's a fish there and your bait lands there, it's gonna sit there, he's gonna examine it. And once you move that bait, that fish will react to it or they can even just strike it as soon as it hits the water or if it's just sitting there. What I like to do is just give it a few pops in the same spot that it landed. Like right now I'm stuck in a lily pad so I kinda don't wanna get too far from that area where I just casted. I just twitch it a bit and you know, sometimes it won't work. You won't catch fish every cast, you know, but if you keep persisting, there's a chance that you'll run into a fish. But yeah, I like to just twitch it, give it a few pops, take my time with this bait, let it sink, hence the name Cinco. This bait is more for like slower days, fish that are not as active, fish that are very finicky. I like to use Cinco's, tougher days, works the best even on days that are good when the bite's good fish will attack this bait it's crazy how good this bait can be on good days you can just slay fish but yeah that's my method of fishing this bait i like to let it sit for maybe 10 15 seconds right after i cast it give it a few pops give it a few twitches take my time with this bait because like i said i only bring this bait out when it's tough it's always tough in this area so i like to use cinco's either way fish seem to like it anyways but yeah on tough days cinco's are a great way to locate fish get them to eat that's how i fish it i'm gonna get to fishing see if i can catch some fish i've been fishing for about 30 minutes or so or 45 minutes and i have not gotten a single bite but i'm gonna keep fishing hopefully we catch a fish today in this video kind of show y'all how i work the bait and how i got the bite where i got the bite things like that so we'll get to fishing hopefully we can catch one That's a fish. Got one. Get out of the lily pads. Get out of the lily pads. It came off. Broke me off. Dang it. I was pulling way too hard. All right, so I don't know if y'all noticed there. I don't know if I'm gonna catch another fish, by the way, but I don't know if y'all noticed in that cast. As soon as I casted, I let my bait sit. I had my bait sitting there for a little bit and I felt him tug. I don't know if I twitched it, I'm not too sure. I haven't looked over the footage, but I'm pretty sure I let it sit for a bit and that fish ate it. I don't know if y'all saw how he pulled my rod when it was just sitting there, like he just took it and took off. So that's why I say whenever you cast with your Cinco, let it sit for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Cause usually fish are pretty smart about baits and stuff. They know that people just cast, reel it in. But when it just sits there, they're tempted to eat it. And sometimes they do eat it just like that fish. I'm gonna rig back up. Hopefully we can run into another one. I'm not too sure, but yeah, first fish of the day, lost them.
Is that a fish? That's a fish. No, no, no. Second fish I lose. I just tied back on. It's been almost two hours since I've been fishing, but I don't know if y'all can see that. Casted, twitched it, twitched it. I thought I felt a bite. I kept twitching it. I kept at it. I was snagged on something for a second, like a lily pad or something, but I kept twitching it either way. Kept that same action and there's a fish on it. It felt small, but I just want to catch a fish, man. I haven't caught a fish in a while. All right, folks, that is going to effectively end today's video. I know I didn't catch any fish, but the main objective for today's video was to teach y'all how to use Cinco's. And as you saw, I lost two fish there. The techniques I used, they worked out pretty well, but I didn't catch any fish. It's getting close to the three hour mark that I've been fishing for. I broke off maybe like three or four times already. I am running out of weights. I don't want to keep going through all my weights. That is going to end today's video. I hope y'all learned something about the techniques and methods I used to fish Cinco's. You know, it can come in handy on tough days like this. It did rain last night and there was a ton of wind, so I don't know how that affected the fishing today, but we missed two fish. I tried my absolute best to catch fish and I just couldn't make it happen, but I hope y'all learned something. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. If y'all did, smash the like button. Leave any comments down below for any suggestions or video ideas you have for the future. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. With that being said, I'll catch y'all next time on JJ Fishes. Yeah.